Alright, so this lizard is obviously telling me that I am not going into Haunted Tomb. Well, tough, I'm going in there. Because this is what I've got to do for my Let's Play, so... Screw you, I'm going in. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to part 28 of my Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited Let's Play. Where we are going into Haunted Tomb. Because I've got to go out in 30 minutes and I haven't really got much else to do, so I thought, why not do... Uh, record another Let's Play part, so here we are in Haunted Tomb. As Retro Spyro from the last part, and when I did Desert Ruins, of which I will explain in a moment after I just talked to this guy here. Ah, yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Okay, I'm not going to answer that, but I know the answer to that because... Well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward anyway. I knew it like the first time I played this game, but you know, I am not going to put out any spoilers. But basically, I thought, why not stay as Retro Spiral for this part? Because if you think about it, I used it for Desert Ruins. And I've always kind of seen this level as sort of like the underground or interior section of uh, Desert Ruins level. So, I mean, I don't know if it could call it a sister level. I don't really know if they have sister levels in this game but I mean why not just say it is anyway I mean it's not hurting anything is it so okay this is a sister level for desert ruins and it is the underground section so yeah that's what it is guys because I have decided this is that so I just thought it would be fun to record a let's play part and well this guy is pelting me with rocks I mean these exploding fireball things I, I don't know what they're called but Anyway, there's a skill point in this stage, with which I'm going to go for in a minute. I'm just going to clear out this annoying guy first. And then I can continue if you stop throwing rocks at me. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah, basically, this is skill point in this stage that I've sort of like always struggled with. And it said swim into the hole. Uh, that was a wrong button. That is not the skill points, Marcus, because I am not playing on the PC version. So, basically... If you go into Haunted Tomb, it says swim into the dark hole. Now, originally, I kept trying to sort of like glide to the middle section of here to see if I can swim. And basically, that does not work because you cannot swim in that water. It just kills you. So, when I thought there was some like dark underground section, but nope. All you've got to do is go in here and voila, there's your skill point. Nothing really hard at all, to be honest, but, you know, it's just... Uh, sometimes we do really dumb things and it does take some figuring out and I don't know why but like I mentioned in the last time I have completed Bugbot Factory 100% as you may see here and Sparks is not doing anything if you stand next to a chest so I don't know what you're playing at Sparks but you are not doing your job I think you're gonna have to be fired mate so hmm So obviously I'm not going for that because basically I am just going to keep getting hurt. And that's if I can find oh it's there it is. There's a switch. It's there. Now we're talking. Now the music for this stage I really love. I mean, I don't know if you've all seen it, but I actually did a video a short while back. Well it was actually like last year, about a year ago, like eleven months ago today, or something like that. Uh, well about this time, not bang on this day, but basically. I swapped the music from Haunted Tomb into this stage and I thought that'd be really cool to do. You know, into into the Egyptian levels. You know, from Crash What. I ought to like swap it back. You know, when the year one year anniversary of a video comes about, I'm gonna do this level with Crash Warped Egyptian level music. Because I mean, heck why not? I mean I've done it one way, so why not do it the other? Now, I haven't really done much regarding this, like, music swap series as of yet, but... 
But wow, I'm like being really talkative today. I mean, it's not very often this happens on a Let's Play. And wow, I'm getting held with rocks. No, this is always the part where you die because you've, you've sort of like got to guess where they're going. And no, oh no, this cannot be happening. I cannot be dying. So, hmm. So basically, I'm going to make it a priority to top up sparks before I do anything else because if I don't, I'm going to die. So obviously if you just go out of the section where the uh, fodder is, it will just decide to come back. So I'm guessing it's sort of like 4 in a one 2 3 pattern, yes, yeah, so, but I still get hurt. I mean, this stage, I mean, I like it, I like Egyptian themed stuff, I mean, but the problem is, it's just, it's quite a tricky level. I mean, if you had to pick a hardest level in the game, I think I'd pick this one. I mean, Dino Mines is quite hard, which will be coming up next, but... This stage, Haunted Tomb, or as I've said, the basement of Desert Ruins, I mean... Or it could be inside, like, one of them buildings, I don't know, but... It would sort of, like, make sense if it was like that. Now, what I'm going to have to do here, unfortunately, is I'm going to have to go back through that rock falling section, because I kept forgetting that I need to save these enemies in order to destroy these things here, these, these sort of like coffins or the mummies stay in. And wow, a rock didn't even hit me. Now I will say the hitboxes in this game are a bit weird, um, you know, without a doubt, I mean, but just R ah. and O. Oh. I've totally messed this up big time. I mean, it was a lot, lot quicker way of doing this. I mean, but no, I've got to go back to this last, last section three times in a row. So, hmm. No, in fact, that's it. No, there's another one there. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I can just fix that real quick. Now, this in theory, it's actually quite a long level for what you get done. You don't travel far, but you have to, like, still do a lot, and it does take quite a while, and that's... Kind of always been, like, an annoying thing to me. I mean, Enter the Dragonfly is not my favourite spiral game by any means at all, because it, like, takes five minutes to clear out a section about as big as this room I'm in here, so... Because, obviously, it's a really slow game, and it is really glitchy as well, so... Hence why Enter the Dragonfly probably is not my favourite Spyro game. Well, it's by from far. You know, this game is a lot more premium quality, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not saying Enter the Dragonfly is really bad. Well, I don't know about that, because it kind of is, you know, in my eyes. But if people like the game, obviously, it's no biggie. I mean, I totally respect your views. I mean, but no, not my thing. But apparently there's like swimming in the air glitch. Apparently there's that in Hero's Tale as well, which is uh, a game that I've never played. I mean, Spiral Hero's Tale is a game that I really maybe should consider playing, because I really enjoyed playing Crash Twin Sanity, so I can't understand why not. A-H-T, or Hero's Tale, if you want to say the full thing. That's just me being lazy, so... Mm. Right. Might as well clear out all the chests before I progress. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave this guy here. And I'm going to get this rock. And then go into this next room. Oh, what happened there? Come on. You don't give me much time. And I'm going to destroy these. So, basically, I don't have to worry about doing all the backtracking again. So, hmm. And on. Oh! Whoa, that was weird. I thought I was not going to be able to collect that gem there. That would have been really annoying. In fact, that would have been an absolute disaster. And I thought I picked up one of them stones, but obviously not. Or fireballs. Who cares? But... Mm. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. This cannot be happening. Brilliant. 
And oh, we've got a snake slide to do. Now the snake slide is pretty annoying in Reignited, but we'll deal with that in a minute. But before we do anything else, we're just going to get this hovercraft challenge out of the way. So, which in Reignited is not too hard. So anyway, here we go with that. Wish me luck. First round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The sure. riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Pretty straightforward. I mean, it's 12 years, but in the original version, it actually says 12 as in the word 12, whereas all of these three are numbers, so... Uh, it kind of gives it away, so it's kind of a good thing that they actually did change that in Reignited. Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the Demolition Hovercraft competition. Of course, I basically circle to shoot to straight shot, square to do a lob shot, and R1 and L1 to dodge left and right, which comes in super handy, of which I will demonstrate for sure in this round. Now, the first one's really easy, because basically, uh, you're just in this single section, and wow, I'm getting hurt already. Okay. I'm rough. So yeah, basically, this is pretty straightforward. I mean, you, the next one is harder. I mean, this is bridges, but basically, they're not here yet. There we go. We did it. Nice. Well, well, that was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. And something's going off outside my house. I have no idea what, but oh well. Uh, I'll just continue on with the game. Maybe I should be concentrating on my let's play. I'm not looking out the window, Marcus. Oh well. We now enter the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? No thanks. Bring it on. My, my, such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. So it's pretty much the same thing as before, but we are on low sparks, so if I die, it's not going to be the end of the world. I can just retry, and oh no, I'm on the last bit of health. Damn it. Right. It's just if multiple like tanks try to shoot me and I knew it, I would die. So yeah, this has definitely not been my strong suit ever. But I will say that it is a lot easier in this version than reignited. I mean the original. Come on. Why am I mixing them up? Come on. Okay, right. So basically, I mean this this challenge was sort of like hard to control the tanks in the original and also as well the, the, the opponents seemed a bit more aggressive in my, in my opinion anyway I mean it could people's views may vary but but basically just yeah I'm not indoctrinating anyone with my spiral views by the way I mean every obviously there is no really right and wrong when it comes to views on anything really, I mean, everything's like each to their own. I'm sort of like, keep things sort of like, balanced, you know, sort of like, unbiased. Because I mean, lots of people obviously do have different views on what they like more, or, you know, views on any subject in general. So, I'm definitely not that type of person who sides with like, you know, let's say, the, it could be the Spyro 2 you know, sort of like, fan base, or it could be the end of the dragonfly from, I, I don't really care, I mean. That was indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. Now why my chair decides to be really noisy and squeaky? Every time I come to record a let's play part, so here's TJ, nice one. So anyway, here we go, we're just going to exit out of that. And oh damn it, I've got like 10 minutes before I'm, I've got to like go out, so... Maybe I might be able to get this timed perfectly. 
you know, because obviously I thought, why not record when I've got nothing else to be doing, so. Because to fill in time, so. And, oh, no, 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 I have not done that. I totally have not done that, have I? Come on in, it's laser time, Agent 9. You know what I've done? I've killed off all of these enemies. And now, there is no way to destroy that without having to go for that awkward one in the middle of them falling rocks. So, well, what an idiot. I mean, come on, I mean... Who even thought that was a good idea? Like, come on. Here we go. Get that rock. Come on. Oh, no. This is where I die. Right. Come on, rock. Fall. I need the yellow rock. No! I died! Damn it! Right. Okay. So, basically, you've just got to, uh... Dang. I mean... Oh, that's what I should have said. Because, obviously, I want to try to refrain from using cuss words in my let's plays but hey at least this guy's back so I don't have to worry too much now about this but what I am going to do is I'm going to speak to this dude quick so that we don't have to go all the way around again I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid what am I? Huh? Now, this is what I like. I like how it says a bandicoot, because that's obviously a Crash Bandicoot reference. So that's uh, probably my, one of my favourite uh, sort of things in the entire game. So obviously, it will be an egg. Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorcerers. Well, you're just giving it away, so... Here we go, Will. So I think there's just two more eggs to go, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, I'm gonna destroy. I've waited seven thousand years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off the seashell shore to bury some bones. Nice. So here we go then. Destroy that. Awesome. So now at least I can go up the steps now, so I don't have to go all the way back around. So basically. Just uh, throw that here, and there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Agent Nine challenge and get that out of the way. One of those dogs with a funny hat put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny come to think of it. Oh boy, that dog's gonna bang. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, what? Why did I do that? Why did I go back out? Oh, why? Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. So, obviously, that will be, uh, footsteps? I can't remember. My, my, you're quite yes. clever for someone with so little fashion sense. <laughs> you may proceed to the first trial. I always say, I don't know why, I never think, remember that one. Maybe because it's minigames, I don't know, but basically, I mean, Agent 9 is my favourite, so there's no reason why I should not be thinking of that. Oh, and of course, it's analog stick to rotate, because this is not the uh, original game, so... Even though I am using reignited controls, but yeah, I sometimes confuse like a footstep or shadows, but uh, I get it right one way. In fact, I can't even remember which one I answered, so mm. that says a lot. I've obviously got to destroy all these pots because if you don't do that, you are going to end up dead. And there we go, so. Third section. Obviously got to keep sparks all topped up because if you don't. But at least it's a good thing that I have got the extra sparks uh, health thing. You know, if you by completing the uh so I'm kinda of, I'm glad I've done it that way, by completing the sparks missions, because it does make these levels a lot easier. 
in the evening lake and midnight mountain world, so... Have I done it already? Come on, that was that was well easy. That was way easy. No? Wait a minute, come on. Who was missing? Oh, it closes off, I see. So there we go, so... Obviously, each one you go into gets harder, so... You have got to prepare for that. The snakes are the hardest enemy in this, because basically they're always, like, going for you. So, you know, really, really annoying. Because you know that you are going to get got. Now, this is the hardest one, because you have actually got to pick up the rocks that are thrown in order to destroy these enemies. Because, obviously, just a simple gunfire is not going to kill them. I'll be enough to kill them No. Oh no, 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 come on. I can use I can actually use my right triggers to rotate. I think it was because I was so used to reignited controls. And wow, I'm messing this up really bad. Come on. I mean Can I do it in this first attempt? If I can do it in the first attempt, that's good, because that's gonna save me a lot of time, especially when I've got like to finish recording soon, so. Right, come on, come on, come on. Play nice. Here we go. Cool. I got hurt at the same time, but at least we did it. Does, does each one of them count as two? Does it? Oh, you got to wait for them to cool down. Oh, what? Whoa. I don't know if you just saw that or that was meant to happen, but it sort of like just catapulted me into the air. Oh, that was a pretty weird glitch. I'm not gonna lie. Right, come on. Are you there? I want to say, please don't be a glitch where it misses out an enemy. Because that has happened before. Not on this one, but... And some other challenge, I can't remember which one. But I'm sure it was in Spyro 3. So here we go. This marks the end of this challenge. No, it does not. Oh. Uh, through this door. There we go. I'll get there eventually. So here we go, Roxy. So that just leaves one more. And that means we've got to do the slide now, so... Let's leave this section and uh, do slide. Now, Haunted Tomb, as I say, is one of the hardest levels, as you may see. We've been going for like over 22 minutes in this one level so far, and they were saying that it has nearly completed. Now, this is what, like, how the hell are you meant to take this turn? I mean, it is not very easy to do at all. I mean, you're always going to die. I've probably lost count of how many times I've actually died in this stage today. I like how the screen says reigniting, but I mean, it is kind of sad how uh, they don't have the proper game over screens like they did. Come on, can I go down here? No, we can't. Oh, what? How are you meant to take that turn? I mean, seriously, how are you meant to turn that corner? I mean, it's literally the worst designed slide ever. Well, it is for reignited physics, maybe not in the original, so maybe that's one of the things I had to work with, but... I'd like to see speedrunners try to figure that out, because I actually have spoken to one or two speedrunners of Spyro, and they say that they do struggle with reignited. So basically, slow down on that wall. Now, that is a really weird, silly thing you've got to do. There we go, that's all gems. And, of course, there's Malcolm D, or Malcolm, however you say it. So, there we go with that. And obviously, can't go up the slide. No, it pushed me straight off. But that is a good thing, because at least I've got plenty of lives, and it is going to spawn me close to the end of the level. So, uh, that's at least one good thing there. So, here we go with that. So, I'm just going to glide over here. And I'm going to run through here. And go back to the end of the level. Now, at least I've got it fully completed. If I can dodge the rocks. Imagine if I, like, spent half an hour trying to dodge these rocks. Now that would be pretty hilarious, but pretty much a true case. Can you go behind this portal? Oh yes. Now it's obviously, it's weird to enter a portal from behind, but you know, why not? Because Y-O-L-O, -O, you only live once. So, there we go. We're returning back to Midnight Mountain now, so uh, that is that. So this just leaves one more level, and then we can do the final level. So, there we go. 
which will be Dino Mines. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed watching this part. And we will see you all in Dino Mines. So, take great care and peace out for now. Bye.